Welcome back again. So today I am going to show you how to create an ASP.NET Core 3.1 professional website with Orchard Core content management system which I have introduced in my last lecture. So if you haven't gone through it, kindly go through it and you will have some overview of Orchard content management system written for .NET Core or ASP.NET Core. So let's without further divulging into any more details let's go to visual studio so in the visual studio i have got um, we can create a new project click on create a new project and asp.net core web application click on next and i will name this let's name this suitably like Orchard CMS or Orchard Code Orchard Core CMS dot web just to differentiate that is a web project okay so Orchard Core CMS dot web that is the solution name and click on create Now I have to click on empty and with ASP.NET Core 3.1. Okay, that's my platform. Now click on create and it will create the project for me. I will again come back once the project is created. So this is the project and it's not much if I show you before showing the um, thing that has been created by default template empty template it's better that i should actually create the website okay which won't take you long so right click and then manage nuget packages and in the install package you cannot see anything because nothing is installed so let's browse for one package Orchard Core dot application dot CMS dot targets and this is the right package. Okay, Orchard Core dot application dot CMS dot targets and this is the another one application dot cms dot core dot targets but this is the correct one okay and i'll click on install release now license acceptance i accept now it will it should in uh, successfully install the pre-release version okay so it should be now in the uh, it is ready okay so now it should be in the installed okay now it's all installed right now we are with only installing a nuget package we are almost there you know all you now need to have to do is to write a couple of lines one line in the configure services you have to add service dot add Orchard CMS right so why it is complaining it is asking me to change add Orchard CMS to add Orchard CMS. Okay, services dot add Orchard CMS. All right. Okay, so there is some typo over there. It seems. So preview changes and apply. All right. 
So now it doesn't complain. So that sniggly, uh, this squiggly line is gone. Now all that I need to do further is to uh, get rid of this use routing should be there app dot use endpoints. So instead of app dot use endpoints, I'll have to bring in this middleware. You see, this is the middleware part where we are, you know, writing the middleware or configuring the middleware in the configure method of this startup. So app dot uh, use orchard core. All right. And then let's run the project. Now the build has started. It takes a little bit of time before it comes up on the browser. Now I've got this setup page, okay, Orchard Core Setup. So I have to do a few more steps. So what is the name of your site? You can choose any name that you like. So my, let's name this my tutorial site. And what type of database to use? Let go for, let's go for the default SQLite and super user. Let me be the super user because I'm the admin. So I can manage other users. So username and password, password strength must have at least one non alphanumeric, one uppercase, one lowercase, one digit and six characters in total. All right. So that's a good strength and email address, my email address. All right, and again, confirming the password. And click on finish setup. Now it is configuring the website for me. Language you can change from English to any other language that is available in the drop down list, but I'm going for the default English. All right. Welcome to Orchard Framework. So the site has been created. Now this one, if I click on this address bar and slash admin, it will get me to the admin mode. Now this is one of the recipe which I need to change. So I'm just logging in as the admin. Now my tutorial site is created for me. Welcome to Orchard. Now here, this is the dashboard, admin dashboard. Here I can do a lot of thing, things. So I'll show you quickly. I would like to change the recipe because that recipe which showed earlier was a software service. That is the default recipe. So I'd like to change this to agency theme, which is what I showed to you in the last lecture. So, so now I have uh, click the configuration I have expanded and I have come to this recipes section here. So now let's try this one. Click on run. And are you sure you want to make run the recipe? So yes. So this time that theme has successfully come up with a nice looking website, landing page, my tutorial site, which was the name of this with services. If you click on services, it will come to the services with e-commerce responsive design, web security and portfolio. It will go to the portfolio page. You can explore it. Click the cross to close it. Or you can also close from here, close projects. And you can click on about. This is team and this is contact. This is in a nutshell. It is now created. Now you can change this, you know, to suit your customized needs and you can do the content management yourself. So that I will show in the next lecture. Thank you.